Welcome to our Christmas episode. Welcome to Employee Relations Words of Wisdom. Everybody have a happy holiday, a Merry Christmas, and the best of New Year's. I hope you enjoy the episode. Hey, welcome to Employee Relations Words of Wisdom. It's Santa Bob. Santa Bob's here, the Executive Vice President of Permanent Solutions Labor Consultants, and your host for today's episode. So what can we do to beef up Christmas spirit with the employees on Christmas and throughout the holidays? Well, I see a lot of mistakes made through my journeys as a consultant, and I'm going to share some of those mistakes with you, but I'm also going to give you some tips and pointers, even with a couple days left, on how easy it is to build up employee engagement, build up employee satisfaction, have tremendous output, uh, whether it's production or service, service satisfaction and how to make the workplace just a happy, jolly place to be. Because let's face it, nobody wants to work on Christmas. Nobody wants to work Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, or all the other holidays out there. They want to be home with their families, supervisors, management, vice presidents, even the owners or the CEOs. We all want to be with our families. That, I mean, unless you're inhuman, we want to be with our families on Christmas Day. So, You only got two days left here. So I'm putting out this special episode for you. So tip number one, or mistake number one, is you don't treat the employees fairly on all shifts. If you have three shifts, and I see this all the time, and nothing ticks off a midnight shift worker than this. So the day shift and the afternoon shift get treated like royalty. They get uh, catered meals, or the supervisors and managers cook for them and serve them and the midnight shift gets stuck with leftovers that were literally sitting out all day that's horrible it makes them very angry or they get some par food they don't get uh, a steak dinner or hamburgers hot dogs or whatever it is that was served they get uh, something you know one that comes to mind is i was on a case where they did. They rolled out an amazing feast for the first two shifts, and the third shift got an ice cream social. And to make it worse, this, there was nobody from management there to celebrate it with them. They were literally told, there's ice cream in the break room, go get it. Man, that would make me angry as an employee. I'm not going to be satisfied. I'm not going to do my best work. So, and, and then let me point out something else here. I mentioned serving the employees. Wow, what a great impact to bring out the top leaders of your company. I'm talking about your CEOs, uh, the presidents, owners, vice presidents, managers, supervisors. Bring them all out on the floor or wherever the workers are working and spend the day with them. Talk to them. Let them know that you feel the same way they do about working on Christmas. That is a connection. That's a bridge. And that's something that will bring you together. Oh, and here's another novel idea. What about if you set a goal? This works great in manufacturing. You have a production goal. Why don't you all work together? Why don't you have your supervisors working on machines, managers working on machines? Heck, even the owners, hop on a machine. Help the employees reach that goal. And when they reach that goal, let them go home early. Let them go home and spend time with their families. Wow, what a concept. Because you know what? Yes, employees have to work, but they also need a work-life balance. I'm a former firefighter. I was stuck in a position where there was no way I could have that opportunity to go home early. If you can't let them go home early, give them all time to call their families. Let them know that they're thinking of them. You know, production is important to companies. Service satisfaction is important to companies. But what would it hurt? to take the employee out, give them a a short phone call with their families. It's going to brighten their day. It's going to put them in a better mood, and it's going to make them work harder. They're going to appreciate what you do for them. See, Christmas and holidays is tough on the employees. It's tough on you. So you got to make the most of it. Here's another idea. Give them something they've never seen before. It's not too late. Right now, we have two days before we get to the actual Christmas holiday. 
Why not head out to a Kinko's or a print shop that does the quick print and make a giant poster thanking your employees for being there for the holidays and put it in right where they walk in for the day. Boom, you just brightened up their day. They've never seen it before. It shows that you care. See, a lot of times employees think that you don't care about them because, hey, you're making me work on Christmas. When I know darn well that most supervisors, most managers, most uh, VPs, most CEOs, most owners absolutely care. They wish their employees could be home for Christmas, but they have product to get out. They have services to provide. <clears throat> it's a tough thing when you become that level of a leader. And I wish more leaders would talk about this. But do something different. So that's it for this week's Employee Relations Words of Wisdom. My, my advice is talk to your employees, spend time with your employees, set goals with your employees, let them get home. And all of that is going to help you connect a tighter bond with your employees. They will see that you think of them as human beings and not robots. And they will understand that you are in the same position that they are and work harder towards achieving your goals. And it's going to brighten up the atmosphere. Who wants to go to work on Christmas and be absolutely miserable? I've had many jobs in my youth. I've worked many Christmases and I hated every single one of them. And your employees feel the same way. You know, a lot of, here's my last tip. A lot of employers make a huge mistake. They pay their people overtime on Christmas and think that's enough. It's not. Extra money does not mean more than extra time with family and friends. Yes, the employees like it. Yes, some will sign up for it for the extra money. But trust me, they would rather be home celebrating with their friends. My point is, you don't have to have a miserable Christmas at work. You can have an amazing Christmas at work. Just think outside the box. Do something special for your employees. And make sure that, you, that the, your employees know that you actually care. So let's spread the Christmas spirit. Let's spread the holiday spirit. And from me to you, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Uh, happy holidays, whatever holiday you are celebrating, and let's take employee engagement to the next level. Let's take production to the next level. Let's take service satisfaction to the next level. Let's knock out turnover, and let's connect with our employees. Remember, subscribe to our channel. Hit the little bell icon. That way we can push new content out to you when it becomes available. And as a special message this week, I know I'm not the only one with ideas. I want to know what you have thought of to raise the Christmas spirit in your workplace. Especially things like this where we only have a couple days and you realize we didn't do enough for our employees. I know there's answers out there. Leave them in the comments down below on YouTube. Leave them in the comments on LinkedIn, on Facebook. Make sure you like our page on all of our social media platforms. And I will see you next week on Employee Relation Words of Wisdom. Again, have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Ho, ho, ho. I'll see you next week.